7 e plus 09 the population of the world its growth puts enormous strain on our resources and is changing the way we think about energy we must re-examine how we use it and develop new ways to harness recycle and sustain it at this moment in history Nearly 30% of the world's population has no access to electricity. This, in contrast to the other two-thirds, whose energy consumption is alarming. We've reached the end of um, the energy architecture that we currently enjoy. The issues related to the economics, the volatility of energy prices when systems get reach their limits, uh, is creating economic uh, problems throughout um, all uh, industrialized economies. Even today, as alternative energies are increasingly top of mind, fossil fuels still power over 85% of the world. Yet alongside our dependence, there is progress. This is Butenweisen, Germany, home of farmer Heiner Gertner. There's something unusual about his farm. In the rolling countryside outside of Munich, Gertner farms something different. He farms the sun. Since 2004, his 10,000 plus solar panels have generated enough energy to continuously power all the residents of his village. But Gertner is far from alone. Solar has become a movement. The Earth receives more energy from the sun in one hour than it uses in an entire year. Solar is unique. It's the only form of energy that is ubiquitous. It's everywhere and can be harnessed uh, nearly every place on the planet. What that means is that if we can provide the technology and all the infrastructure, every place in the, in the world could be benefiting from solar energy. The market and the opportunity is literally a trillion dollar opportunity. It's essentially infinite. Take Axiona's Nevada Solar One. Currently the world's third largest solar plant, nearly 200 football fields of solar panels produce enough energy to power 45,000 homes for an entire year. The Nevada plant is among the first of a new generation of large-scale solar facilities and currently there are plans to build nearly 60 new solar plants all over the world, an indication that the paradigm has shifted. But this is only one side of the solar revolution. The real challenge to make solar a viable, renewable energy is to make it affordable enough that it drives its own business case and creates enough value for the end consumer. One of the things that Dow is doing to bring photovoltaics to the residential market is we are integrating the solar functionality into conventional building materials. It takes the mystique out of the, uh, the solar panel and consequently can create a much larger market and uh, accessibility for, for the end consumers. We believe the work of chemistry is to benefit humanity. It's why we work to turn sustainable housing into a reality to turn home to a different kind of power plant and to turn the world's oldest energy source into its newest one. This is what happens when you view life through the eyes of the human element.